Hi everyone. I hope you guys are having a fantastic Monday. Today we're going to continue our soccer skills. So I trust everyone is stretched and warmed up. Let's get started. Now remember, the main rule when we're playing soccer is you cannot use your hands unless you're the goalie. We are not practicing being goalie today, which means we are not using our hands. Now last week we practiced passing and kicking. Let's review some of that real quick. Remember when you pass, I want you to use the inside of your foot, whether you're using your right foot or your left foot. Make sure you're using the inside of it. That way you have the best control when you're kicking. Now if you have a partner, uh, go ahead and pass with your partner. If not, you can pass against the wall like I'm gonna do. Take a big step forward and kick. Make sure your non-kicking foot is placed next to or slightly behind the ball and your toe is pointed in the direction you want the ball to go. So pass. Practice your trapping, so stop the ball. Make sure it's close to you so you can kick again. You can practice with both feet. Kick the ball while it's still rolling. All right. So let me have everybody pause the video and you guys practice your passing and kicking for 10 minutes. Ready, set, go. Great job, my friends. All right, next we're gonna practice dribbling. Now when we dribble, we're gonna use both feet. So we have two feet, we're gonna use our two feet. Use the inside, right near, just like we did when we were kicking, use the inside and outside of both feet. Now what I have set up is a cone over here or an empty water bottle. So if you guys have a cone or a water bottle to go around and back, you can use that. You can dribble to a wall and back, dribble around your couch. Uh, whatever you have, just make sure it's at least 10 to 15 feet away so you have some room to dribble. Okay, so we're gonna start off just dribbling around the cone and back using both feet, kicking it gently so you maintain good control of the ball. Again, using both feet, using the inside and outside of your feet. All right, take your time, especially to start with. The better you get, then you guys can go a little faster. Using the inside, bottom, top of my feet. Make sure you have good control. If you want to challenge yourself, have your head and your chin up, okay? So you're not looking at the ball. As you get better, you can move a little faster and jog when you're dribbling. So then make sure you have good control of the ball and use both feet. All right, friends, let me have you guys pause the video and practice dribbling for 10 minutes. Ready, set, go. Great job, my friends. You did fantastic with your passing. Fantastic job dribbling. Uh, later in the week, we'll add some more cones and practice zigzagging in between our cones. But until then, stay healthy, stay safe. Check Canvas, Google Classroom, Class Dojo, whatever you need to check your schoolwork. Make sure you're using it, checking it, and doing all the work you need to do. Stay healthy, stay safe so we can get back to school. And I look forward to seeing everyone soon. Bye, everyone.